I've been watching Cenk Younger of the Young Turks talking about the uh, the IRS and NSA lately, and he's such a hypocrite. Listen, just go go to his channel and look at a few of the IRS videos, and then listen to the NSA, uh, yeah, NSA ones. Um, about the NSA, he is mad. They are listening to everybody. Your privacy is ended. It's all over. The government's in all your business. And, you know, he sounds great. He's passionate. He's, his points are concise. He sounds like a man of principle. Somebody, you know, good for you, Jank. And, uh, you know, he catches them on their lies. And he's, you know, he's right on board. But then uh, uh, he'll do a video on the IRS. Oh, the, all these Tea Partiers. Turns out it's all bunk. The IRS didn't do anything wrong. Some low-level supervisor. He's got one level of employees underneath him, if, as, as I understand it. Um, Schaefer, uh, John Schaefer or something. Schaefer. Um, he said, and he's a Republican, a conservative Republican. He said that he had no reason to believe that the White House was targeting them. Now, this guy still works for the IRS, and he has no proof that, the, that Washington did anything wrong. So what kind of fool would say, oh, I think Washington is targeting the Tea Partiers, so come and fire me tomorrow? I mean, no. If he doesn't have any proof, he's just going to say nothing. He's going to say, I have no reason to believe that they target him. But don't forget, Washington did ask for examples of these. And then they did have a, uh, a lawyer work directly with the frontline people asking all these hard questions. All these hard, ridiculous, invasive questions came straight from Washington, from lawyers in Washington. And don't forget, Obama fired, well, call it what you want. He let go the guy who was in charge of the IRS. What? I know it's only a couple weeks early, but he still did it. So at some low level, oh, and don't forget, what's her name? Lorna, the lady's name who's going uh, to implement Obamacare coming up here. She, she goes before Congress and pleads the Fifth Amendment. And then all these... Uh, questions that these people get asked uh they came from different they they came from different people they didn't all come from this one conservative republican low level supervisor i mean they were asked uh uh they were coming from washington from this lawyer who was uh and remember the girl she quit she said get me i, I don't want to do this job anymore get me a transfer because these people from washington are breathing down my neck so hard that i feel unprofessional and i don't want to have anything to do with this i don't want my name associated with how i'm having to treat these tea party groups so jank did you I, do you even watch the news do you even pay attention i mean you are such a suck up the nsa uh, does this this uh, invasive thing against our privacy, and you're been out of shape. But the IRS uh, abuses the public, but they're abusing somebody that you don't like. You don't like Tea Partiers, and you don't like conservatives. So because of that, because of that, uh, government abuse is okay. You know, go look in the in the dictionary what principle means, and then. You'll, uh, and then think about why nobody trusts anybody who doesn't have principles. Because you change with the wind. You change with the tide. You change with the times. Whatever's good for jank, that's fine. It's never, I'll do what's right, even when it's hard. I'll do what's right. I'll stand up for right. what's right. Even if my enemy is being abused, I'll stand up for them. Jank, if you want to have integrity, stand up for the Tea Partiers. Stand up against the IRS. And, and let me ask you this, Jank. If the NSA was only listening to Tea Party people, if they were only listening to conservatives, if they were, if they would only tap the phone of Fox News and uh, Drudge Report and Rush Limbaugh and Glenn Beck, would you be complaining, or would the NSA, would the NSA be just fine with you? I think that's a fair question.